when pretty privilege fails you. That's why I became a VTuber. <laughs> How far can pretty privilege get you? TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie who? Honestly, who is Charlie D'Amelio? I actually don't even know. Oh, that's her. Okay. Snakes. The bop, bop. Literally, like, who is she? Uh, don't talk to me. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Charlie and I'm super excited to be sharing with you my first ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. What is she doing? Hey TK! TikTok famous. Oh, it's a TikToker! Got Hello. it. If there was one person who saved the universe in their past life, it must mm -hmm. be Charlie D'Amelio because she was dealt with everything anyone could ever ask. Bro, what what is she doing with her hands? Life. It must be Charlie D'Amelio because she was dealt with everything anyone could ever ask to be successful. A virally beautiful face and body. Every opportunity. Yeah, sure. She's pretty. Yeah. Community in Hollywood commercial. Okay. Oh. Dies of cringe. Bro. I wish I could snap my neck like Fillion does with a headset, man. I wish I could do that. I really wish I could do that. Like, bro, what the f- what? Oh my god. A top talent agency in the industry. Mm. A book deal. A reality TV show. A TV show. A clothing line. A makeup line. A record deal. But somehow, Holy. there is still a way- You can do that, but the only one. <laughs> no! To mess everything up. Just really need to admit this to you guys. I actually do have nipples. And I mean, that's really like, that's all that I can say about this right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> don't tell Twitch you got some, you're gonna get banned on Twitch. What? So, how did the Demelo screw up more than $32 million worth of pretty privilege? That's exactly the mystery we are going to uncover today. But not only that, as your marketing bestie, who graduated top 1% UCLA Business Economics- Yo, she has a golden YouTube play button! Kids, a YouTube play button when he- <laughs> With a background in marketing, we are going to explore how pretty privilege can still fail you if you have a terrible brand and how you yes you no matter if you have pretty privilege or not can build a successful brand to help you down your career <coughs> men are gonna hate this one <laughs> men are gonna hate this one but she is a pretty woman she must be successful all women have a <laughs> That's that, that. Shut up! Career. And by brand, I don't just mean slapping your name or face on a t shirt. Branding is about how your future. Did she just add in a Discord notification sound? What? Brand, I don't just mean slapping your name or face on a t shirt. Branding. She did. I hate that. <laughs> And she did earlier too. God damn it! I went to check this card. <laughs> ah, it's about how Sorry. Your future college, future boss, future boyfriend sees you. And I'm creating this series to analyze celebrities I don't from like her a now. marketing perspective yeah. because yeah, many same. of them do not recognize the power of influence they have over a generation of young girls. <laughs> Charlie D'Amelio caught what? Yes, they have over a generation of young girls. <laughs> caught drunk. Wow. Damn. Wow. Oh my god. What? A person got drunk? No. Oh my god. Scandalous. Scandalous chat. How a person can get drunk? No. <laughs> can drink. <laughs> Old even is she? I don't fucking know. Above the age of uh, above the age of eighteen, at least. I really don't want to work anymore. And I think it's so important Relatable. to be aware and reflective of the people who are shaping our culture. <laughs> and this. Oh. 
Hey. But how terribly the D'Amelio franchise flopped. We will also talk about how they could come back from the lock. How the D'Amelio family used its TikTok fame to launch a footwear business then. The Laka brand and the hate they always cry about. I'm upset because I haven't been in any drama. First. <laughs> upset because she hasn't been in drama are you for real bro drama is only entertaining when it's not about you bro because i haven't been in any drama first we need to understand how the d'amelios had every single chance to build a billion dollar empire charlie d'amelio for those who have never heard of us but this is what it's about like, being pretty only gets you that far, right? Like, being pretty, like, what I imagine in my head is, like, let's say everyone is, like, on a, fa uh, or on a playing field from, like, zero to a hundred percent, right? With, like, a hundred percent being, like, the most successful, like, streamers, entertainers, whatnot. I feel like pretty privilege only gets you, like genuinely only gets you like 30 percent of the way no i said that wrong 100 percent being the top like you've made it like at 100 percent you've made it and i would say pretty privilege only gets you 30 percent that far after 30 percent you gotta put in your own fucking work she wants some beef drop down the hood of you finding me and i know some people are gonna be like no it's way more like yeah it's not 100 percent, but it's way more no i generally feel like it's only 30 percent I don't know. It's it's just me. I really just think like pretty privilege only brings you thirty percent of the way, and if all you got going for you is pretty privilege, you will stay and uh, um kind of flatline at that point or like kind of stabilize. Just be there, and if you bring nothing else to the board, you can't go further. Pretty privilege is just a buff to whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a buff. It's like. It could be a head start. It definitely could be a head start. The Maya character creation. <laughs> it definitely could be a head start. Like, absolutely, sure. But it only gets you that far. Pretty privileged she only scores your future if you are willing to be the uh, trope wife. I don't know what that is. It's, a it's added not on the bottom of your skills. It's added to the top from what I've seen. What do you mean? Sorry, what do you mean by that? It opens doors that would otherwise be locked. It does! Oh, trophy. To be a trophy wife. Oh, okay. Uh. Well. Mm, I mean, models, right? Why couldn't my parents take a while longer in the character created? <laughs> Either way, let's move on. app called TikTok, good for you. Never heard of that one. high schooler who is not a Nepo. Oh, there we go. That's her age. app called TikTok, good for you. Is a kinetic. Age 20, born 2004. Okay. Okay, but let's start the sentence from the start. Let's start the sentence. A billion Again. dollar empire. Charlie D'Amelio, for those who have never heard of a small app called TikTok, good for you, is a Connecticut high schooler who is not a Nepo baby, an Instagram heiress, or a self made artist. She started creating dance videos on TikTok in 2019 that quickly broke the platform and the Guinness World Record as the first person with 50 million oh. followers on TikTok. Oh, okay. You know what? Sure, that's impressive. In April 2020, then 100 million in November 2020. The entire internet and Charlie herself was dumbfounded by the success because while Charlie was a dancer, many have claimed her dances to be mediocre. Surely, it sure, yeah. That people are shallow and that the TikTok algorithm prefers a pretty face, right? Not what? No way! Never seen that one coming. Oh, at all. 
Do you want the Raven still exist? Yeah, they do. Of course, Renegade became the Charlie D'Amelio dance because she did it so much better than the original choreographer. And of course, the reason Boy. Dixie D'Amelio, Charlie's sister, began blowing up too was that her natural talents blew the platform away. All in all, some people are born on the right on side talents. of the beauty algorithm and beauty standard and they should embrace it. But as the sisters are dealing with this life-changing fame, which in this day means power, which means money, their parents money. and new team saw a pot of gold. How exciting. There is so much possibility when the hype is only rising for the girls. They were seen as the model citizens of TikTok Oh, is that the Nickelodeon thing? Rising for Wait, the are the Nick Awards still around? Are the Nick Awards still around? Favorite female creator. What the fuck? The model citizens of TikTok and basically had the attention of every teenage girl in the nation. There was so much potential here for them to grow into the icons and role models for the next generation of young girls. But no, no, the D'Amelio parents said, heck, we are the new Kardashians. Oh, okay, there it is. That's what went wrong. Got it. Okay, that is what went wrong. I see. I remember being at work in retail security watching girls put their phones up on the window sills outside the building doing the stupid fucking dances. A few times I would smack the window from the inside and knock their phones off the ground. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Just, why? Just, just let them enjoy themselves. As long as they're not bothering anyone. <laughs> Come on, man. Just let them enjoy themselves. A little petty but funny? Yeah, because fuck them kids, fair. And if you're the Kardashians, then being hot is all you need to build a successful are so business, dumb. right? The Kardashians are only successful because they're so dumb and people enjoy watching dumb shit. And so what happened next was a big, impressive list of business ventures. But if you take a closer look, you'll start to realize that each is very mid. And that the team behind them is not just uncreative, but oh literally boy. throwing random shit at the wall and hoping that one will stick. Oh. So what this is, is it's a look at your 2021. This is the major things we're focusing on. So we have all partnerships. We have, you know, the different companies you're okay. working with, like, you know, okay. ring lights and starting okay. a clothing company. So, and then... You I can see a clothing company, that won't make sense, but ring lights? I guess because she's a TikToker? Because as a TikToker, you need ring lights and, and shit like that? You have books and TV shows. Well, this is- Books? You're trying to market books in 2024? Bro, hello? This is the future calling? Old man, what are you doing? So big, we need to first look at physical products and then their digital appearances that led to the ultimate downfalls. From 2020 to 2023 alone, they had their makeup line with Morphe, not exactly a hit, then a collab- Also, 2020, wouldn't that make her 16 at the time? Bro, she was underage at the time, bro. What the fuck? Collaboration drink with Dunkin' Donuts, a fragrance okay. line, a nail polish collection, a mattress, this is where you lost me. Like, all the previous things sounded okay, right? All these previous things sounded like your average, like, fucking Instagram famous, stupid, you know, white girl woman having as their brand. But a mattress? Alone, they had their makeup line with Morphe. Makes sense. Not exactly a hit. Then Makes sense. Making a makeup line wasn't a hit. Unlucky. And a collaboration drink with Dunkin' Donuts. Very white girls. A fragrance line. Sure. A nail polish collection. Makes a sense. A mattress. A footwear mm. brand. Why the mattress? Footwear brand? So they made the entire own brand instead of just like making a collaboration with a uh, fucking Nike or whatever? Like, what? A skincare brand. A popcorn brand. Skincare makes sense on the makeup. Popcorn? What? But the thing is the issue they made the issue they made here is that they made their own brands. Why 
Are you making your own brands? Why are you not just collaborating with big brands? The fuck? Where I don't know which creative genius idea it was to tell the Demelios to dress up as Walmart employees in order to promote this relatable, fun brand. And yeah, I don't get it either. I will press popcorn, yay. Yay! Yay! Reminds me of uh, someone trying to sell us cookies. All they did was if you're a prop boy, just say so. Mock the working class where labor was only a fun activity for them. And being so incredible. Bro, fucking America, why do you not let your workers sit down, man? This America, please let your workers sit down if they're gonna sit at the cashier place, man. Just give them a chair. Give them a chair. Please, America, I don't understand. A working class where labor was only a fun activity for them. And being so incredibly talented while launching back to back to back to back to back businesses. It just doesn't make sense. They don't get paid enough to sit down. <laughs> if your audience is teens and young broke adults, anything beyond skincare products will not sell that well. Yeah. And if anything, why are you making your own brand? Stop making your own brand. Collaborate. Fucking collaborate instead. Charlie D'Amelio, of course, has... Like, I can see in influencers making one or two brands on their own and selling them. All of these? Question mark? Like, just collaborate. The time to write a book in 2020 called Essentially yeah. Charlie, The Ultimate Guide to mm. Keeping It Real. Trying to sell a book in 2020. Good luck. Real. Which became a. Remember the dirty? No. I forgot the influence, of course. No one cares. It was sold the ridiculously cheap prices, like 20 cents a can at my place. No, I have no idea what that New is. New York Times best seller. Dirty? If there was an award for launching the most no, really number of unmemorable businesses, the D'Amelios probably would have won. Laundry noises. <laughs> <laughs> no laundry being finished. If I didn't tell you, you probably don't even know half of these brands existed, no. and some of them deceased. Because honestly, by the speed that these products were launched immediately following the blow up, there is just no way that they were developed with care and passion. Of course from not. Charlie and Dixie. This, this these brands money. have no connection with them. Like why uh -huh. shoes? Why popcorn? Why mattress? It's just slapping money. the D'Amelio label on a bunch of consumer goods that are very mid themselves. D'Amelio footwear is... This is literally someone trying to market something when they have no idea about marketing. I genuinely don't understand, man. Like, either if they did hire someone to, uh, to like, make these ideas, they need to fire that guy and sue them because they fucking got ripped off. Or they need to hire someone! <laughs> Pretty much paying source level of no one cares, no one buys. Yeah! Recommended by doctors to treat broken ankles. Don't say that. You can't what? say that. I don't care if you like the Kardashians. You can't say that. Deeper. Well, yes, they also launched and flopped brands, but the brands yeah. that we will remember and rave about are the brands that they care about and rave about themselves. Kim Kardashian yep. is known for her iconic body. So what does she launch? Skims, a shapewear company that has quality products that could sell even on their own. Kylie Jenner, well, damn. known for her lips, so Mama Chris got her to launch Kylie Cosmetics. Hailey Bieber, the woman is constantly showing her glowy skin, and each launch is super creative and tied to her personally. Makes absolutely fucking sense. Ambulance. Vlog but coffee for four years. It just makes so much sense to have a coffee company, and she yeah. has killer creatives. Alex Earls merch. Very on brand with her personality. The fact that you don't even know the name of on the brand or something they're passionate about makes absolute fucking sense. What the fucking Demelio fucking girls did, or the family rather, zero sense. Hire a fucking manager or fire a manager. <laughs> hire or fire them. I don't know what brands launched by the D'Amelios shows you how disconnected they are from these brands. And it is so funny to read Charlie D'Amelio's brand inspiration for the shoes as, quote, we are always in heels, we are walking carpets, we've done all the uncomfortable blister-filled shoes before. So it's been really nice to be able to look into our closets and see, hmm, what are we missing and what do mm -hmm. we have that we can make 
better. Clearly, extremely relatable to their teenage girl fan base who walk in heels and go to carpets all day. And clearly, yep. the dream shoes for the teenage boys who follow them because of their hotness. I love you so much. We love you so much. <laughs> Charlie, let's go. I love you, Charlie, you're the go. It's crazy. I need to. <laughs> Every teenage boy, I need those heels. I need them now. Give me those heels. <laughs> They did that with some singers too. Their agents sold the right of uh, Imagine to annoying. The right of Imagine to annoying, willing to pay for it. So they put them in bad games, bad TV series, bad movies. But they did good enough. Oh, uh, well, uh, image. Ah, uh, right of their image. Okay. To anyone, right of image to anyone willing to pay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that that's the industry for you. Their entire marketing team never gave a single that's thought just the to industry. who the targeted demographic is. Because it is not women in their 20s and 30s with actual purchasing nope. power who will nope. want to wear these hot pink or electric blue pumps to work. Which is probably a hard concept for- Bro, me as a nobody, as a, someone who didn't study any of this, when I get, I've gotten sponsorship emails about ridiculous things. I told you guys about the fucking intimately th shit, man. Like, how, how in the world does that make sense? How, how would that ever make sense? Bro, you all need that 3D printer pussy. You need that 3D printer pussy. <laughs> because I'm so lewd and oh my god I do so much not safe for work shit oh my oh my <laughs> damn as well as fume you know what fume is it's sucking on air <laughs> fucking clipped fucking fume fume this they those people contacted me, sucking on air. Like, no, why? How would that make sense for me to advertise? Like, if, if I would fucking vape on camera, maybe it would make sense, but nope. Nope. This is literally sucking on air, like, like, fuck off. Air is free. <laughs> Really else free. <laughs> the Demilo sisters to grasp because they never had to. I'm uh, sorry. So yeah, even I know like that shit doesn't make sense. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna advertise that shit to you guys because it doesn't make sense. You want me to suck and I have to pay for it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's flavored. Oh my god, it's flavored air. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's flavored air. Yes! By the way, I'm not here to complain about their bread. I'm here compl to complain about how fucking stupid it is trying to have me advertise it. Also, thanks for the follow, Nelby. Also, fucking... Bro. They don't leave you alone. They don't fucking leave you alone. The very first email that I've gotten from them, I've said... No, I'm not interested. My audience is not the target audience. I've gotten six new emails of that. I've gotten six more emails completely ignoring my first email saying, Oh, I don't, I don't know if you see this. Are you interested? Do you want this? Oh, just hitting you up again. Whoa, want to advertise food? We can send you some free sample. Shut the fuck up. They just want to make sure <laughs> could get some... Imagine way more with some organic cat food sponsor pictures of Sherlock munching it down. Yeah, maybe Maybe even that I would call a little bit far-fetched like yeah I talk about my cats a lot, but you don't actually see my cats a lot, you know But I would think about advertising like fucking Gaming shit literally gamer subs literally gamer subs energy drinks games Video games! <laughs> you know? Shit like this. Oh, I also had some... A clothing brand at the start hit me up. Like, oh, we can make your own clothing brand. Like... Bro, firstly, I'm a no-name. Secondly... No! 
<laughs> I don't want my own brand. I don't need my own brand. Free samples for pocket po No. <laughs> so yeah, even I as a no-name know that you need to have like a top your target audience in mind. And my target audience, chat, my target audience is people is 96% male. Yeah, we've risen to a 4% female uh, uh, viewer base no chat. We have 4% female viewer base. Hi. Make yourself known females. Let's go. 96% males in the age from 18 to 42, I believe it was. That's my biggest demographic. That is my biggest demographic. And I would say that's a pretty good demographic to have. Girly poo here. Hey! Female viewers, raise up! Female viewers, raise up! 4%! Let's go! My girl would watch Kids too, but the burps put me off me. That's why I stay. <laughs> she doesn't like the burps! Blasphemous! Talking about gamer subs, I'm still waiting for the ones I got with the free kids equipment. Uh, message the customer support. Message the customer support. They're really good. Go message them. They have chat support. It's probably a hard concept for the Demelo sisters to grasp because they never had to work a single day since they had enough money to do whatever they want since 17. And at this point, it is apparent that the main issue is the Demelios don't know why people follow them. And frankly, it is hard to answer that question. So, yeah. As many still only know Charlie why is it? as a famous TikToker. Why? I wonder how, why? Pretty? A pretty girl? Pretty girl doing super dance? No brain? Oh. Who dances I wonder. and not much more. Surely, digital appearances should help. The right? Demelio show. On the personal brand side. Although it seems like the Demelio family has done so much since Charlie became famous on TikTok, everything they worked on somehow only made them less and less relevant and less likable. Don't get me wrong, I respect yep. the hustle of the family, where they really tried to emulate the Kardashian grind and did everything possible to stay relevant. They just didn't have a manager. Or they had a shit manager. But, but they do not understand the full price of monetizing your family and what it truly takes for a family to become a money printing machine like the Kardashian clan. Either their team is very lazy or has no oh, they creativity. Don't have... yeah. Since yeah, growing yeah, up, yeah, yeah. the Demelios launched a podcast because every other influencer under oh the God. sun did called Two Chicks Podcast. <laughs> Kids of Podcast One. Kids of Podcast One. Honestly, I wouldn't be against uh, against doing a podcast. But for now, no podcast. Maybe in the future. If we actually have things to talk about. <laughs> People don't find you funny. They want to... That they want to F, F you know the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad parenting? Yeah. You need to find a co-host. Yeah. Yeah. Once upon a day I thought tongues, but that's all. <laughs> that's out of the picture. That's out of the picture now. 27 episodes before asking the question, is this what the girls actually want to do? And do they have anything to talk about? Dixie began doing music and so did Charlie. They had their family YouTube channel. Speaking, uh, speaking of fucking retarded podcasts, man. Speaking of retarded podcasts, talk to her, am I right? Fucking talk to her. Uh, but Exigence here though? Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. We shall see at one point. Channel, which had a lot of backlash since the first episode. They want to have a backstory so bad. Extremely rude. And in spite of a private chef made meal, Dixie threw it up in front of everyone. And Charlie said it's better to get dino nuggets. Sometimes happens when... You can see how fake this is, by the way. Like, you see... Like, you can see how fake this is. Like, firstly, the fucking audacity to act this way. Secondly... Girl, stop acting. Like, girl, stop fucking acting. Had a lot of backlash since the first episode, where the girls were seen as extremely rude, and in spite of a private chef made meal, Dixie threw it up in front of everyone, this is and Charlie said- Like, uh, bro, the way she took to react to this, that's, that's not how it goes. Podcasts only work if you invite charismatic people to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's oh, a lot of stupid people. 
<laughs> that you want to see go down. Better to get dino nuggets. But you I'm need something interesting on it. You oh, see wow. that this is just <laughs> fake, man. Do we have any dino nuggets? At this point, the Demelio brand was already out of touch with their audiences, who likely don't live in a large mansion with private chefs. But that's okay. They don't have to build a relatable brand if they want to be more aspirational like Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish. They could keep their mystique and stop doing the mediocre family content. But no, the team behind no. the Demelios wanted them to be the Kardashians and put them on a reality TV show even after the YouTube family channel backlash. While they oh lacked the gosh. very essential elements of the Kardashians to be interesting, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. My <laughs> sex tapes, celebrity scandals, divorces, pregnancies, the Demelius are just too normal and unproblematic compared yeah, to- Yeah, like, like, who are you? Like, who the fuck, why, like, who the fuck are you? Why would I care about you, you know? Discord sounds got me again. Yeah, like those fucking Discord sounds, They're man. <laughs> the biggest drama they could pull yeah, is CB Charlie is terrible. and yep. Dixie hating each other. No, I think it's so cute that you riding on my coattails like really worked out. What? Sisters having sister fights? No way! Oh, no, I've mean, seen like, before. Life. I mean, two years compared to 18, it's like really different. Yeah. Which is so hard to watch because it's not authentic. I was caught off guard. And on top, yeah, of course like, not. Oh my god, this is so perfect. You know what? Why don't you put this song on my album and we could do it together? And probably did damage their relationship as a family. What the hell no just way. happened? Didn't like, see I that one coming. The only person I can really trust in the world. That's not fair to me. So how are we supposed to live with each other anymore? In addition, the fact oh, that boy. almost every single episode was about the sisters facing hate from people on the internet due to their massive following and no way no this is not how you monetize the haters massive presence online is very jarring for the audience not saying that the hate they're dealing with is not valid or important but to their viewers who don't understand a life of never needing to work since 17 having the luxury of time to cry repeatedly in a mansion and complain is very off but oh boohoo i'm getting hate on the internet boohoo what else is new what the fuck else is new man whoa hate on the internet never seen before never seen before where there's a lack of awareness of privilege the never seen before magis thank you for the race up yo let's go huge the biggest challenge they have to face in life is the hate is that, that comes louder? from having hundreds of millions of followers where many cannot even afford a roof over their heads and have to stress about where the next meal is the impression Damn. of charlie and dixie not being appreciative of the capital money and power they have is not only unrelatable yeah, but also unlikable. Yep. People come to like people watch stuff so they can forget about their own shit. And to them, to the average person, if they watch someone, if they watch like an influencer, a content creator, a, a celebrity, they always think Oh, I could do that too, but they have gotten lucky. They always, like, put this... They always put it to luck. They say they've just gotten lucky. If I was there, I would have gotten lucky. And they don't appreciate their position they're in. If you suddenly start complaining about your fucking sad life, of course they're gonna turn away. Skin think as rice paper, century of old dresses, sissies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, people don't want to see you complain about shit, man. Like, they come to you so they can forget about their complaints, you know? They don't... They come to you to forget about the world. And if they're building brands after brands after brands that depend on their personal brand and people <laughs> liking them, then if people don't like them, then of course the brands they release every few months flop. In addition yeah. to how each product has no soul, or passion. Since the very start, except for maybe Charlie and her dancing, there was not a soul or passion in every project that Demelius touched on. Demelio footwear is recommended by doctors to treat broken ankles. Don't say uh, Literally, why is she saying that? Holy fucking shit. How? 
Why are you saying this? I'm not sure if Dixie D'Amelio even wanted to be a TikTok star or singer while always being overshadowed by Charlie. It's always your time to shine. When the entire enterprise was born because of the lucky or perhaps unlucky pretty privilege without a soulful connection, it is doomed to fail. As soon as the halo effect of a pretty face or body gets tiring, and loses its shine. All in all, I do think Charlie True. and Dixie are sweet girls True. and handle True. way too much pressure from their team and perhaps even their parents who just want to definitely. milk the f out of their fame. It's definitely. But like I said before, a brand cannot just be built in one day. And you can't just launch 20 things in four years hoping one will stick if you don't have an ounce of passion for any of them. So what does make sense for the Taylor Danilo the brand? Bitch, and how yeah, could they create basically. something sustainable without further decreasing their likability? First, they need to make a very conscious decision of whether they want to be influencers what they want to do. or celebrities, yeah. which are two very separate concepts. Yep. If they just want to play a role that is- The Kardashians are celebrities. Who is an influencer? Who is a good influencer that we can name that's on Instagram? <laughs> like... Does Asmongo count as an influencer? I guess he would, right? Like, I know I, I prefer the term as Asmongo Insta. He does. He does, but does he count as an influencer? I guess he would in, like, modern definition of influencer. So, yeah. Celebrity, Kim Kardashian. Influencer? I don't know, you have a fucking content creator. Fucking Asman Goldman. Like, bro does have multiple orgs and shit he's selling, so, you know? Aspirational? Then don't overexpose themselves by appearing on every show network possible. Mm. Keep the mystique. And if they want to be influencers, they need to be way more self-aware and aware of what is normal outside of their multi-million bubble. Stop pretending that they are just a normal family only worth $32 million in a mansion and be more respectful towards the audience that they've been cashing out on. And stop contradicting themselves by stop pretending to be dramatic and problematic in their shows for the sake like, of Like literally, people hate fake shit. Just be authentic. Like, people hate two-faced shit. Like, where's the authentic authenticity? That's what humans love. Humans gather around authenticity. That's why people like Asmongold, because he's authentic and down-to-earth. People hate that fake shit, man. And just stay true to who they are. And maybe they don't care about mm. music, popcorn, mattress, and that is okay. Which brings up second. They need mm -hmm. to stop launching brands. The next brand launch <laughs> needs really to be something do. so thoughtful and something they absolutely human -like love. Human because things? so what? much trust has already been lost, they need to let every milli ounce of the next product to show that they poured their soul and their heart into it. And maybe they're not passionate about anything right now, which is also okay. That's okay. First, then develop the product that their audiences actually need. And to be honest, if they don't care about products, they don't need to create one. Yeah. There is already enough money to be made from working with existing brands that there align. Is. That's what I've been saying. Collaborate. With them. Third, not sure about Dixie, but Charlie's initial dream was related to dance and her going on Dancing with the Stars was a great move. It just aligns so well with who she is. There it the is. Core. Instead of starting drama, That's a good thing. just to start drama with Dixie about pursuing singing. Many people initially followed Charlie because of the positive energy she brings. And maybe from dance, she could create a product that finally connects with her. That helps solve problems for her as a dancer. Like gear that prevents dance injury that could eventually be pushed out to a broader athletic market. Or dance of leisure Damn. that's extremely durable yet comfortable and cute during practice that could eventually become its own clothing line. Instead of popcorn no and mattress. With that being said, Honestly, I think I should uh, create my own uh, mattress brand too. And all, and all honestly, let me take it a step further. I will create my own... Mirror. I will create my own mirror brand. I had to look around my apartment for something. <laughs> I had to look around my apartment to find something. <laughs> like, oh my god. I wonder how many are holding out for the OF. Oh my god. That, that's... 
Yeah, there's only one or two ways to go. Either they fall completely to relevancy. Or they go to F. Maranera. Mattress would work. Your sleep schedule actually sucks. <laughs> Kids to toilet paper. Oh my god, bro. No. Although times have changed and the Demelio sisters are highly unlikely to regain that surreal level of mass attention again. All they need to do is to build a stronger connection with their existing massive following instead of treating them like cash and machines to feed soulless products to. And stop doing and saying problematic off-handed things or complain about their privileges to be further disliked. I really don't want to work anymore. Pretty privilege can't get you far but cannot last a lifetime. Ultimately, yep. it still comes yep. to good intentions, authenticity, and hard work. There it is. There it is. To build a long-lasting brand. There it is, Which Chet. I do believe the D'Amelio sisters are capable of and can have a rise to their careers again if they choose to use their influence for good impact. That's how to grow real influence instead of... A pretty follower account. Let me know your thoughts if you think the Demelo brand was a flop or not. And comment below which Definitely. celebrity you'd like me to analyze next through a marketing perspective. This is your Huge. marketing bestie, Zoe Unlimited. Very Share this video for impact and I will see you next week. I thought this shit actually so interesting, man. Like, marketing stuff really highly interests me because, well, you know, it kind of is my job too to, like, market myself now. You know, crazy, crazy concept. Crazy, crazy, crazy concept. Kitsu's oil. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna brand oil. <laughs> I'm gonna sell you guys oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but that shit is actually highly interesting to me. And, yeah. The meal you? Fucking. No. No, they sucked ass. Trying to market something without any idea of marketing. Marketing and psychology go hand in hand. They do. They really do. That's really interesting. It really is. To be honest, I don't think the Kardashians looking good and those people too. I don't think the Kardashians look good either. To me, they're not attractive. I don't think they're attractive. Personally. Just personally. Like, personal opinion, I don't, I don't like them that much. Um, Demilio? Honestly, I think that both girls are pretty. Both girls are pretty, definitely. They definitely are. But as I said, pretty privilege only gets you that much. Only gets you that far. Only ever gets you that far. Cam looks like the cave troll from Mariah's <laughs> Wild. Oh boy. Um, that will be it. Thanks for watching, YouTubes.